Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And if you follow my channel for quite some time, you probably remember those puzzles here called Pieces of the Galaxy, a whimsy pieces puzzle collection featuring all the planets of our solar system. An amazing product, an amazing project created some years ago by HelloFish. Years later, they came up with another Kickstarter project. So was this one. This puzzle collection here called Pieces of the Seasons featuring all the 24 different animals of the Chinese solar term. And if you'd like to see and check out those reviews, I will link them for you up here. However, and this is why I'm mentioning these two puzzle projects now is HelloFish came up now with a third project, another Kickstarter project called Pieces of the Maesters. And it's featuring some of the most amazing artworks in history. Again, we're talking about puzzles with whimsy pieces. I received two prototypes. One is this one here featuring the two artworks of Vincent van Gogh that are part of this series. And what's pretty cool and different to the ones before is these puzzles are printed two-sided. Means what this one puzzle here, 300 pieces, includes the Starry Night painting as well as the Cafe Terrace at Night by Vincent van Gogh. Since it's two-sided, I expect it's gonna be tricky to assemble. I would really like to understand how this turns out. And in addition, same as on the other campaigns, there are hidden puzzles inside the puzzle. In this case, it's a small easel with a miniature version of these puzzles. This time, they also created something in addition as a part of this Kickstarter campaign. And these are so-called replica puzzles. Means you can get one of these puzzles featured in the campaign in the same size as the real painting. Means. And now, now watch out. I also received this. <laughs> this is Mondrian's Broadway Boogie Woogie in original size. Means 127 times 127 centimeters. 600 parts and those parts are huge to form this puzzle in this size. This is not the complete puzzle here. This is only one fifth of the puzzle because this is box number one out of five. I got four more of these and these are seriously heavy. Not sure where to build it. Maybe on the floor in my living room. I have no idea. Here in my room, I have no, no space to build it. Maybe I will also invite the greatest puzzle expert of all time who finished the giraffe puzzle to join me here and support me assembling this. Let me know if this is gonna be interesting for you. So one option here to finish this also within the next two weeks. But today is about this puzzle, the two Van Goghs. How much time I will require, you're gonna see after this water break. Would, it, would be interesting for me to understand what you estimate, how long will it take me. Post it below in the comments. And now let's get it on. So, here we go. Pieces of the Maesters. Let's go. I hope this is complete. <laughs> Let's see. My children dropped this one time, this box, and uh, put all the parts together or back again. But I hope they are complete. And one problem I have now, and this is the first puzzle I've ever doing, which is two-sided. I have no idea how to start and how to identify the two different sides. If you know a bit how these pictures look like, you know that this cafe terrace at night contains a lot of orange parts, while the starry night picture of Van Gogh is mostly blue and dark colors. Still, it's gonna be very tricky. Um, maybe let's start out with the corner pieces and the sides. I think this is a good way. Since this puzzle has straight edges, this is probably the way to go. I will now first sort out all the straight pieces and then start building a frame and putting the other pieces then later in the center. Some are impossible for me to identify what side is the correct one. It's gonna be very, very tricky and this puts a lot of additional this two-sided print puts a lot of dif additional difficulty on this puzzle. Nearly all of the pieces are the other way around. I think at least. Here also. Oh, this. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay, and this probably like like so, I would assume. 
Yes, this this is good. It's not the side, but still it's good. Oh, the ear. The ear of Van Gogh. <laughs> the, the, that ear, you know? The ear he cut off. Oh, first corner piece finally in place. And I mean, this was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And you see how far I've got after like 45 minutes. Woo, this thing can take me forever. Well, that's what it's about. So I keep on puzzling. <laughs> but again, this back and front printing makes it much more difficult than a normal puzzle. This is what I can tell you. And this is what still makes me struggle here a lot to identify where the pieces belong. These are here probably all belong in the same area because they all have this green color in it. And there are only few people, uh, pieces who have this green color. So maybe let's see if I can get something here together. Now, since I sold the pieces after color, so it does not matter, I'm not focused on building the outer frame anymore. But sorting the pieces after color seems to be definitely the right strategy to bring some order here in this chaos. This is what I meant before. Yeah? You can clearly see that this is painted or belongs to one picture, the dark night sky. Same as here, you can see this is painted completely different. This is like wiped. This is like dotted here yeah? and this makes it definitely possible to identify and it's also pretty cool because you learn a lot about these these paintings you notice a lot of differences in the paintings themselves only by doing this puzzle if you are somehow involved into the art scene or interested in paintings and stuff like that this can be also something very interesting for you because you learn something you might not have noticed before. I mean, if I do, I have no idea about these paintings. I think I saw them maybe one time in reality, but that's it pretty much. Oh, this one, wait, 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 this one belongs here. Oh, it's, it's so cool how your brain sometimes remembers some parts you haven't touched for a long time and then as soon as you see it BAM it's there hmm Difficult, difficult, still difficult, more difficult than I expected. Oh yes, now this came in. Piece which I was looking for since a long time. Then here this one goes in and now it goes step by step by step, one after one. This one goes vertically in here. Boy, this was impossible to see before. Here we go. Then this one in here, this one in here, and this one in here. The final piece. Oh, what a challenge. Man, I tell you, do you know the picture? Yes, I think so. Everyone knows this picture. And I will just flip it around to show you how it looks from the other side. 
Okay, uh, okay, not as easy as I thought. <laughs> Back again. I think I will leave it as it is. Check out the Kickstarter campaign if you would like to see the back picture. But I told you there is something in addition hidden in this puzzle. So I need these straight pieces down here, definitely. All of them probably. Like one, two, three, four. So let's see how many are they? One, two, three. Another one over there. Another one over here. This is actually a puzzle for itself. <laughs> this one goes in here. This one goes in here. I think that's it, yes. Here we go. This one comes down here. Okay. Now we need the picture, the miniature picture of this picture. And now it's getting really interesting because I took a screenshot. This is how it should look like. And this is actually a super cool idea. Um, if I will ever be able to find those pictures at least. Uh, these pieces. Um, I think one is this one. And you get them out with this picker. Therefore, it comes with this tool. You can easily get them out. This one. one this large blue piece up here my favorite one here we go the corner piece no wrong we need it later um, this one One. Here we go. Now this is fascinating. If I see this, look at this. How close this comes to the original. Man, this is fascinating. Here, compare this. Insane. Wow, this is brilliant. Creating you the 3D stand and this puzzle in miniature format. Woo! Wow, this, this is really surprising me. Look at this. Another time I can only conclude, Hello Fish did an excellent job here. It was really fun doing this puzzle. Take me a lot of time. I think like maybe three hours, 15 minutes or something overall. So definitely a challenge, especially because it's also a two-sided print. Yeah, as you can see, by the way, this is not a mini picture of the other side. This need to combine other parts. Definitely an interesting puzzle, absolutely recommendable. I will put a link for you up here, as I mentioned, already earlier during the introduction hope this was interesting to you even if it was no mechanical puzzle but a jigsaw puzzle let me know in the comments which one is your favorite one and please let me also know in the comments if you'd like to see another episode with this real sized mondrian painting that's it for today and until next time keep on puzzling <laughs> <laughs>